What's up? It's your girl Birch Vibes. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm here to talk about top dancehall producer Poppy Don that was arrested and charged in Florida for scamming. Guys, I want you to listen to the story properly and then I will give you my honest opinion on it. Let's get started. Dancehall music producer Dante Johnson, more commonly known as Poppy Don, was arrested in the United States and slapped with scam related charges. The 25 year old Cornwall College and Montego Bay Community College graduate is accused of scamming an 88 year old Sarasota, Florida man out of 63,000 US dollars. According to the Sarasota Community Sheriff's Office, the victim believed he was paying taxes for publishers' clearinghouse winnings in advance and deposited $63,000 into two separate bank accounts. His family reportedly contacted law enforcement in October of 2020. With the help of surveillance video, detectives investigating the case identified Johnson as a suspect who reportedly used the victim's identity to withdraw money. While executing a search warrant on Wednesday the 3rd of March at Johnson's home, with the help from the Broward County Sheriff's Office and the Plantation Police Department, detectives allegedly discovered more than $17,000 in cash ammunition, four firearms, and four firearms, one believed to have been stolen in Georgia. They also seized the paperwork and electronic devices. The dancehall producer was later charged with the criminal use of personal identification, bank fraud, and grand theft of a firearm. He has since been released on bond. The investigation is ongoing and additional charges are pending, this according to the Sheriff's Office. Meanwhile, detectives believe Johnson stole more than $300,000 from 17 victims across the country, who he reportedly targeted with a publisher's clearinghouse scam that promised the purported winners a grand prize payoff if they first paid the taxes on their winnings. Detectives also said he opened several fraudulent bank accounts to receive the funds. Well, guys, I don't know if he's guilty of those charges. I don't have the evidence. You know, so we just have to let the court system plays out. He's innocent until proven guilty. And we just have to have, let him have his day in court. But with all that being said, when the FBI comes knocking at your door in America, trust me, they got you. They got something on you. They got their evidence. Yep, they got all their evidence. Don't think they just come knocking at your door for no reason. You know, sometimes they be watching you for weeks, months, and sometimes even years they've been watching you. And when they get all the facts and all the evidence, then bang, bang, bang on your door. They are coming. You know, so we're going to see if he's guilty or not. I'm not going to... I'm not going to be the one to say he's guilty. You know, we just have to let the evidence play out. Because if he's guilty, you just have to pay the consequence. And we have to be satisfied in life with the little we have. We have to give God thanks for the little we have. You know, we all want to get rich. We all want to live a comfortable life. But we have to do it the right way. And some people weren't destined to be rich. You know, we just have to take the little we have and make much of it. You know, try to enjoy life and all of that. You know, but the fast lane is never the right way. It's never the right way. So, and he's young. He's, he's 25. So I hope, as I said, if he's guilty, he learn from it. Sometimes, guys, you'll be driving in the fast lane, driving fast, and then here comes traffic, here comes traffic. And guess what? You have no choice but to slow down. I don't know if that's the right analogy to use, but that's the one I'm using. Yeah, you have to slow down. Yeah, it's not worth it. Cause you can't go pushing through that traffic. You gotta slow down. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Remember to try and do the right things in life. Peace.